What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw the female face. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to draw a circle because that's what I normally do when I'm drawing any kind of face on any kind of character at any point of view. It's always a circle because every face has a skull and the skull is somewhat rounded. It's not exactly like a circle but I envision the skull as a circle to make things easy. So let's draw in our circle. Obviously mine isn't perfect, but that's still fine. Okay, and we're also going to be drawing this face at a three-quarter view. And at a three-quarter, we're going to see more of one side of the face than the other. So let's draw our center line coming around the circle, sort of matching the contour like this. and then coming all the way down because we'll be drawing our face shape. And by the time we finish drawing our face shape, it'll be somewhat in this area down here. And speaking of which, that is our next step, is to draw the face shape. So now we're gonna draw our horizontal center line that goes around the circle as well. So just like how we created this center line to somewhat match the contours of this line, we're gonna do the same thing but make a horizontal guideline. And it's gonna intersect this line right about here. So you should end up with something that looks like this, but let me darken that real quick. Okay, and now we can begin to draw the face shape. So right over here where the lines kind of intersect, not this one, but over here where the lines intersect, that's where we can begin to draw our face shapes. Now, if you want to learn more about how to draw face shapes, I got a video that'll pop up right here in the card if you want to go and check that out. But to help save time, I'm just going to draw any face shape. Just coming off of that point, making a curve. Curve outward and then making a curve inward. like that and then once we finally reach this center line down here whatever wherever you stop on this line we can come back up to about here so let's do that all right and at that point we can begin to draw the ear and when we finish drawing the ear it'll connect back to this line so let's start right here where this point is and draw the ear. All right, and now let's draw the neck. So let's draw in our neck coming off of this point where the ear kind of connects to this line that we already drew. Just draw like a like a parenthesis symbol for the neck, or at least the back of the neck. And the other line down here could be like this in reverse and also much shorter, like that. And then we can have a U neck to kind of connect the two lines, like this. And then somewhere on each of these lines, we can draw a straight line for the shoulders. And there we go. But of course, you can also make the neck a little bit skinnier if that tends to be too wide. So I'm gonna just do that right quick. And there we go. So now let's begin to draw everything that's on the face. So let's start out with the eyes. Now I have a specific style for drawing eyes. You can do the same thing if you want, or if you have your own style of drawing eyes, or if you wanna do like a little anime style eyes, that's up to you. But where, however you're gonna draw eyes, they're gonna lie on this horizontal guideline that we drew earlier. So I'm gonna start right here where these two lines intersect and draw one eye. And that's gonna be the one that's on the left, the one that we're not gonna see much of because again, this face is at a three quarter view. So that's one eye. And then the other one will be a little bit larger than this one. So I'm gonna start somewhat over here
and just draw in the same eye. All right, and then coming back from this point, we can begin to draw the nose. So we're gonna go down this time. And just draw in a nose. You can choose to make that much bigger if you want, but I'm gonna leave it like that. But now let's come back to the eyes and draw the irises and the pupils. I'm gonna have them looking towards the right, or my right actually. So those are the irises, the part of the eye where there's color. I'm gonna just scribble, color those in. And then I'm gonna just draw in the pupils, apply more pressure to my pencil. And then when I draw female characters, I like to have some sort of mascara on the contours of the eyes. So you see how the contours of the eyes that I usually draw are kind of arc shapes. So the way I like to draw the mascara is to add a little bit more thickness coming up to the top, like this. Thickness up there. And then adding like a little tapering line coming off of that arc. And then coloring that in as well. Sort of like a brush stroke kind of. But that's what I like to do when I'm drawing pretty much all of my uh, female characters. But let's do the same thing with this eye so at least you can see it better. So add some thickness up here and connect it with the contour and then I like to have and then when it comes to this tapering line I like to have them pointing outward so this is pointing that way the other one will be pointing this way so let's draw that in And then really quickly, I'm just gonna draw in the mouth. Smoothing up the chin while I'm down here. Get rid of all these other guidelines. And there, we got a majority of it done. So now let's go on to the top of the eyes and draw like a little eyebrow. So when I draw the eyebrows, I like to have it kind of matching the contour of the eyes, unless I'm drawing a specific face expression. But since I brought that up, I do have a face expressions video that'll pop up in the card as well, if you wanna learn more about drawing face expressions. But when I'm drawing just a basic face like this, it can just match the contours of the eyes. So you see how these eyes are kind of arcs, like I mentioned before. When I draw the eyebrows, it's just going to match just that same arc. And it's not going to be as long like the eyes are. I'll show you. So just like that. That's it. And then I like to have a lot of thickness on the eyebrows. So right over here, close to the middle of the face, that's going to be where most of the thickness is. And then I'm going to have it taper as it moves away from the middle. So there's lots of thickness on this side of the eyebrow, a lot less on the other side. And that's where the eyebrow ends. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And there we go, we're almost done with drawing our female face. 
the one thing that we're missing is the hair. Now when it comes to doing the hair, you can use any kind of hairstyle that you want. If you're doing a self portrait of yourself, you can use a mirror or use a reference image and draw the hair that way. Or if you want to learn from me how to draw hair, I got a whole playlist called Cadillac's Barbershop and Hair Salon. That playlist will be up here in the card and there will be a link in the description to get there as well. So I'm going to do that really quickly in time lapse and then come back to you guys. All right, and there you go. That's what the hair looks like. And I did take it upon myself by finalizing the entire illustration because there's nothing else left to do. But again, links to my how to draw face shapes, how to draw face expressions videos, and Cadillac's barbershop and hair salon playlist will be in the description down below. But all in all, that's about it. That's how you draw the female face. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I